So we've just had the summer solstice, so it's definitely time to take a look at a solar charge controller. And this is the one that I've chosen to look at today. All sorts of symbols on the front that probably mean very little. LGD, definitely, yeah, that definitely doesn't mean much, I don't think. Um, a product number on the top. Uh, this is a 12 or 24 volts with an LCD and it's marked as being 30 amps. Now on the back it does say LCD, PWM battery charging, um, all necessary protections equipped, adjustable controlling parameter of the system. Uh, and nothing to see on that side or the bottom. But let's have a quick look at the eBay auction for this. Here's the auction description and straight away we can see it says MPPT solar panel regulator charge controller autofocus tracking 30 to 60 amp UK. Uh, and down here it does also confirm MPPT solar charge controller MPPT 30 to 60. This MPPT controller can increase efficiency by 10 to 30 percent compared to a standard solar charge controller but what did the box say well the box says pwm battery charging so let's first of all decide whether this is pwm or mppt right it's out of the box and straight away i'm pretty sure it says pwm here on the uh, sticker no mention of mppt no other distinguishing marks the user manual uh, straight away says full forced age PWM charge management. So clearly the seller uh, doesn't know what they're selling. Uh, it's claiming for it to be MPPT when it isn't. But this could still be a handy PWM solar charge controller. It looks like it's got a few nice features. So uh, do I plug it in or do we need to bother? Yes, of course, we're going to plug it in. Now I've got the usual setup here, a porter power meter on the left, which is going to show the solar voltage and solar current uh, going into this little solar charge controller. The porter power meter on the right will show the voltage and the current going into my battery bank. Now my battery bank is under load. There's a 100 watt load on there at the moment. Um, and I've also got 100 watts of uh, monocrystalline panel which will uh, connect here into the solar input. Now that's two 50 watt monocrystalline panels in series, so they should have an open circuit voltage of about 40 volts, a maximum power point of about 35 volts, and should be able to do about two and a half amps at the uh, 35 volts. Or no, it'll be a bit less, won't it? No, that's about right, two and a half, 35 that's about right so without further ado and this may not take an awful long time let's connect up the uh, solar charge controller for the first time and uh, straight away that's a little bit difficult to see isn't it the uh, well the screen seems to be too big for the panel in the front and is there a yes there is let's take this uh, anti-scratch coating off and see if that gets any better um a little bit perhaps so i'm struggling to see that myself i think it says 12.2 volts and yeah that seems to be about right i am yeah that load is definitely bringing down the voltage of my battery bank uh, but yet the meter on the middle of the solar charge controller says it's about full so other usual checks here the uh, solar charge controller without any uh, input is using about nine milliamps of current there isn't it so uh yeah nine milliamps i guess it's a bit high but it's got an lcd it's probably got the uh, usb output switched on as well but we're not really interested in that at the moment uh very quickly is this unit mppt let's plug in the solo We've got 40 volts there on the input um and it's been dragged straight down to 12.8 8 volts as the uh, the battery voltage increases 12.6 volts 12.8 volts on the input 14 watts coming in about 14 watts going out uh, a little bit of loss not much 
Um, but yeah, straight away we can see with a fairly low battery, 12.2 claim there, um, this isn't doing MPPT. This is simply a PWM solar charge controller which has now connected the solar panels pretty much directly connected to the battery uh, to get the most out of the uh, solar panels it can to charge my battery. Yep, definitely not MPPT. That didn't take long, did it? So this has been on for a few minutes and I've turned off the load on my battery bank so the battery voltage is creeping back up uh, nicely. Um, the solar panels are still well out of their maximum power point range here. 13.5 volts coming in, that should be somewhere more like 35 volts for maximum power and therefore, well, we're only creating 30 watts here out of 100 watts of solar panels uh, on what is pretty much solar noon on a fairly clear day, so uh, this isn't very efficient whatsoever. The solar charge controller is also making a bit of a hum. There's obviously some switching going on inside this uh, charge controller, but definitely not MPPT. I mean, look, it's even on the front of the thing. Now, the eBay listing may have had some misinformation in the description and the title, let's say, but I'm sure all of this is pretty much as it should be. Uh, it's clearly showing the same screen and the same functionality, and this grid down here looks pretty sensible. Uh, I got the 30 amp model, which means it can discharge at about 15 amps. It says if you're using a 12 volt battery that you're panel should be about 18 volts. Well, it would be if I wasn't trying to test this as an MPPT solar charge controller. The float charge down here, the discharge limit and the reconnection after a discharge limit has been reached, all are adjustable, and we did find that the uh, unit consumed less than 10 milliamps. So, uh, yeah, I'm fairly happy that everything in the manual is correct, unlike that eBay listing. Looking back at the auction once more, we can see that the title clearly states MPPT. It comes in various different current models, but you can see, look, there's an omission on the uh, the picture there. And if we go through, yeah, it's definitely been removed, hasn't it? Um, except for this picture, where it still says PWM on it. Oh, and a few more. So if you start investigating a bit further, well, it's starting to give you clues. But the biggest clue to say that this solar charge controller wasn't MPPT was the price. Look at that. £8.29. That's 10 US dollars delivered to my house from a local distribution centre in a few days. This is cheap and it's got quite a few functions for such a cheap solar charge controller and as you are aware I've got the 30 amp version but because it was so cheap I also looked at the 60 amp version 10 pounds 24 13 US dollars no more than that certainly at today's prices 60 amp controller for 10 pounds 24 well I had to buy one of those as well, didn't I? So on the left, we have the 30 amp model, which we've tested. And on the right, well, we have the 60 amp model. Let's take it out of its box. And there we have it. Doesn't look very different, does it? Looking at the manual for the 60 amp version, well, it all looks pretty similar. There are a few changes down here to this grid, uh, mainly, the equalization voltages, well, on what is the lithium setting, there's a 0.4 volt uh, difference there, isn't there? And uh, also the fact that this model, well, this manual goes up to that 60 amps. There's only 20 amps of discharge current, uh, but also it suggests that there's less discharge current on the 30 amp model, KW1230. Yeah, it's all a little bit confused with the models, isn't it? No wonder our seller got confused. So what more do you get for your £2 odd from the 30 amp version to the 60 amp version? Well, let's uh, have a look around. These really do look identical, don't they? The sticker on the top definitely says 30 amps on the left, 60 amps on the right. But 
other than that they look identical so let's have the screws out let's get the lids off and compare the insides so I've taken the back off and here are the screws the 30 amp model is still on the left 60 on the right the uh, back of this one has fallen off and uh, yeah it was the back was being used the heatsink for these two MOSFETs or diodes uh, but the actual circuit board is still screwed in but we'll leave that there for the moment while we look at the 60 amp version ah okay so there is a difference straight away the 30 amp version doesn't have these two areas populated but on the right the 60 amp version does so i can start to see my two pounds that's going towards extra mosfets or diodes uh, i'm going to need to take more screws out to investigate further though aren't i so while I was taking the screws out, the one thing I noticed here that definitely hasn't been invested in in the 60 amp version here is beefing up these tracks. There's no additional even solder or copper on these uh, current carrying tracks here between the uh, solar panel and the battery and the battery and the load. Yet yeah, both of those versions are exactly the same. So uh, yeah, that's definitely not where my two pounds was spent, but let's flip this around. Any other obvious difference on the front of the board? Um, no. No, not really. Apart from obviously where those MOSFETs or Q1 and Q6, as they're referred to here, are connected on this board here. Yeah, there's nothing on that one. But other than that, they're exactly the same. And just to confirm, there are no inductors either. Only the uh, little 470 micro Henry inductor up here, which presumably is used for the book converter for the 5 volt USB output. So your £2 extra to get a 60 amp model gives you two extra uh, components on the back of the board and that is it. So I've lifted up one of those MOSFETs here and I'm pretty sure it is an N-channel MOSFET. It's an ST60NF70 I think. A bit of Googling suggests it's actually probably this one, the STP80NF70N-channel MOSFET, which has a continuous uh, drain of 68 amps with uh, proper heat sinking, of course, and uh, well, it hasn't really got much heat sinking with this very thin metal plate at the back of the solar charge controller. So anything else here of note on the uh, solar charge controllers? PCBs? Well, not a lot really. The LCD there, I don't know if you can see, is at a bit of a jaunty angle. It's been pushed over to the left a little bit. Uh, well, has, as has that capacitor. Um, and also, it's been pushed back. So potentially, actually, on the 30 amp model that I was having trouble seeing. Yeah, look at that. I might be able to push that forward and straighten up that screen without too much fuss um yeah nothing else really to note apart from the fact that the actual solder joints and the size of the pads on those mosfets especially on the 60 amp model well i can barely see any solder down here connecting those two mosfets to these pads so yeah it's a bit shoddy and would i trust this with 60 amps no i probably wouldn't however i tend to run all my solar charge controllers at about half their rating anyway so is this good for 30 amps possibly is this good for 15 yeah probably well i've put these back together again and while i was doing that there was just one other thing that cropped into my mind uh, the 30 amp model on the left well it had those two mosfets attached to this piece of metal the 60 amp well that's got four mosfets attached to the same piece of metal there's no additional heat sinking there's clearly going to be extra heat twice as much potentially being created but the heatsink is the same size just that flimsy piece of metal on the back so yeah 
that could have done with having some of the uh, the two pounds spent on it as well i would suggest when i ordered these i was pretty sure that i wasn't going to get maximum powerpoint tracking solar charge controllers partly because of the slightly odd description partly because of the images and also mainly because of the price and i'll be honest in some ways i don't entirely blame the seller of this product they're just shipping boxes and probably don't really know what a solar charge controller is for or does they're just ship it's just one of a million products that they're moving trying to sell and make a few pence the thing that intrigued me more about this particular solar charge controller was the tiny difference in price between the lower current model and the higher current model. And what did I get for that extra £2? Well, we know we got exactly two MOSFETs. I'll of course get in touch with the seller and point out that these aren't MPPT and they should update their description. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.